the other image that you have frequently used and prominently discredited mm -hmm. is the image of the first Louisiana Native Guard. And I kind of wonder, how, could you tell us a little bit about, first of all, the image itself of what it originally represented and how it's then yeah. evolved into a uh, myth-making item for the new Confederate yeah. movement. Yeah, so I'll take sort of the second part first. It, it first appeared um, in a Civil War magazine in the early 1970s as a photoshopped image. And obviously, once the internet came around, uh, easily transferable, you know, cut and pasted from website to website. The image itself, I mean, it's, it, you know, you have to first understand that both sides are cropped. Um, so in some of the versions, you won't see the officers on, on, the, um, on both sides. And the image is actually, was, was actually taken in 1864 outside of Philadelphia. And it's, an, it's a photograph of black Union soldiers, right? It was used as a recruitment poster. It was turned into a colored lithograph uh, that you can also find online. But once it was photoshopped in the 1970s and once it you know, ended up on the internet, again, it became you know, one of these sort of popular images, of, almost as popular if not more than the image of Andrew and Silas. And again, I think it speaks to, you know, it speaks to the fact that you know, today you know, we, we do our history, we learn our history online. And for most people, you know, searching for information online it involves little more than, you know, a quick Google search, um, and then looking at the results, clicking the first link at the top of the page, and that's the end of it. I mean, that's 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 that is the end of it. And so, y it's, y you can easily see how how people are led astray. But again, it does speak, I think, to, you know, I think what's lacking in this is a lot of people just don't know the relevant history as context to understanding, to interpreting these images, and they don't know how to interpret these sources to begin with. So you have, you have a number of issues at work here. Do you think it's more of an issue because of the image being cropped, or also kind of that extremely light blue yeah. of the Union uniform that they're wearing and that I've, contributed to yeah, this? Yeah, I think it's both. I think they clearly look like Confederate soldiers because of the, the coloring of the uniform, and it says right below them, <laughs> first Louisiana Native Guard. <laughs> yes. And again, right, that's for most people, that's the end of it, the beginning and the end. So, I mean, there you have it. The internet has, um, has made us all historians and that is a godsend and an absolute nightmare.